welcome back so in today's video I have my painted desert Memorial Day sale order I live really like probably 20 minutes up the road or down the road from where the painted desert warehouse is so I placed my order on Friday when the sale went live and I got my package the very next day so that just goes to show how quickly they fill these orders anyway so I'm gonna open up don't do this at home they use that kind of tape that's like really easy to open once you get an opening. It's like that kind. So easy to open. I actually really like that. Is that the kind of tape that I have? Huh. Anyways, it's actually a very big box for Painted Desert Wise. I think I've gotten a big box like this once when I had to restock on things for my press on nail business. But um... I'm actually going to flip, you know, it's probably easier that I flip the camera over so you guys can see everything from the other angle. So I'm going to flip that over. Well, this is as zoomed out as I can go for my camera lens. Um, it's at 15 millimeters right now. That's how tall this box is. I think my camera is like 25 inches up off the table. So I'm just going to pull the stuff out. So I already love their packaging so much. The Painted Desert has impeccable branding all across the board. I think they really stand out that way and make themselves look more like a luxury press on nail brand. They still look like a small business and they give me that vibe whenever I get their orders and stuff. And you look at their Instagram, I still feel the small business personable vibe. I know who's behind the scenes, who's doing the branding and everything. But um, their stuff is very luxe. There's lots of thought put into all the details. So I love the little thank you sticker. And um, I know tons of work goes into this stuff. So I'm like, I feel bad undoing the packaging. It's just so precious. But here I am. Yay! Okay, so the Painted Desert was having a buy two, get two free sale on their brushes. And I love their brushes so much they're literally my favorite brand brushes so with buy two get two free it was literally like brainless for me I was like I need a backup set I need a set for in case something happens to my other set I've had them since last year and they work really really well but um I wanted a backup set just in case um and also like if you're working with multiple colors it's nice to have a second set so like I said their brand looks very luxe it feels very luxe it feels very high-end the branding the details the logo it's being etched in there it's not gonna rub off so you're paying for more than just the product you're paying for the unique branding I've put acetone and rubbing alcohol and so much it cleans right off these have oh, they're just impeccable they were also having buy one get one 40% off on their tip boxes so I restocked on my customers favorite boxes so let's go through and I'll show you the ones that I got. It was buy one, get one 40% off, buy one, get one 40% off, buy one, get one 40% off. So like I said, it was brainless for me. My most popular style is the extra short almond. It is literally my most popular. I go through extra short almond faster than I do any other style. However, there are some other styles that are becoming quickly popular in my shop. So, um, and I love almond. It's my favorite shape too. That's probably why it's the most popular because it's like what I advertise the most. But, um, and I need the, them to restock their short almond too because that's a very popular shape in my my shop but I haven't seen that one in a minute um, it's been taken down off their website and I wonder if they're restocking uh, extra short coffin is another popular shape in my shop and the extra extra short round so I just call mine the extra extra short round because I already have an extra short round in my shop from a different company but um so I just label it as double excess round this one I introduced into my shop recently as, as well as the extra short squoval and these are selling really really well so they've become very very popular this one I'm surprised at how popular it's come this is a newer shape which is why the packaging looks different because the painted desert has been changing their packaging and I really like it I like what they're going through so these I think these are yeah it says matte top these are already pre-etched whereas the rest are not I also ordered more extra small oval because surprisingly the oval are some of the best selling shapes in my shop as well and I'm like oh that's best selling that's best selling but with like if I have 17 shapes in my shop now so my best sellers are extra short almond 
extra small oval, extra short coffin. And I think these are gonna take a lead soon. These are gonna become very popular since these are the two newest, two of the newest. I introduced seven new shapes. Um, squares are somehow coming up. Um, anyways, so yeah, I really, I'm glad I restocked. I had tips from another company uh, that I've had for since they released them, but I don't use them. I never use them. Um, they were way too sculpted for me. So what I did the other day is I actually de-stashed. I, I just cleared my entire drawer of those, got rid of them. And I was like, good. Now I have space in my drawer to put all of my painted desert tips, my restocks, my backups. And as someone who has a small business now doing press on nails, I know I'm going to go through these. So it made sense, especially at buy one, get one 40% off. It made sense for me to purchase backups. Shoot, I might have to re-say what I said. <laughs> I got an error on my camera and it's like, mm, can't read it. So I pulled out the SD card and the SD card was in between the unlocked and the locked position. So it was in the middle. So it didn't record anything. Yay, great, great. <laughs> I wanted to talk about the other Painted Desert products that I love because I have so many. You guys should see my nail desk. Um, hold on, <laughs> it's a lot. So I have a drawer full of gel products that I use on the regular and I'm always pulling from this rack. And I also have a rack with like all my cactus color bases. The overflow is sitting right here. Um, my glitter top coats, stuff like that. But if I had to talk about like essential stuff, their matte top coat is one of the best I've ever used. I have a drawer right here in my top drawer with all my top coats, base coats and stuff like that. And I usually use the Madame Glam, the Nail Reserve, and I got like a couple other off brands. I used Luxa recently. I was having issues with streaking, white streaking on the nails. Ended up throwing that out. I got tired of troubleshooting and trying to fix that top coat. I ended up throwing that one out. The Madame Glam and the Nail Reserve, interestingly enough, when I pull the brush out of the bottle, sometimes it will leave like a cured crystal somewhere on the on the nail. Like it's weird. There's like semi-cured gel in it. I don't know. I swear if I get another error from this SD card, I'm gonna buy another one and have it overnighted because this is frustrating. <sighs> Hopefully I can get all this out. Um, so yeah, Velvet Matte Top Coat. I wish I had bought more during the buy three, get one free on their gel product sale. Mm -hmm. Rubber Top Coat is amazing. So is their rubber base coat. For some reason, the rubber base coat is not on the website right now. This bottle. The rubber base coat is not on the website right now, which I'm sad because I wanted to restock on some during the sale. Um, I love using it to basically encapsulate like chromes and nail designs. It's a thicker base coat. Um, so I encapsulate over and then I apply a thin top coat on top. I prefer to do that. Um, I also like their glossy top coat. That one's really good, but also is their stainless steel top coat. So either one is a great option. I think the brushes are different on them. Um, the Prime Time, they upgraded from this really, really small bottle. This is actually the Young Nails Protein Bond, but they had their stuff in a small bottle that was this size. They upgraded and they went from 7.5 ml, 7.5 mLs to a 15 ml bottle. So I was very impressed with the upgrade in the packaging. I love that. Um, the Cactus Jelly Plus is really good. So if they don't restock their base, rubber base coat, I'm just gonna use Cactus Jelly Plus because Lord knows I have enough bottles of that. Um, their cactus color bases are really good. Actually, 66 and 67 are mo most popular ones. I have a lot of very, very, very fair tone customers. And even I'm very fair tone, so I use these the most on my sets and some of my customer sets. But they have actually really like darker color options too. So depending on what you want. Um, so they have some darker options. More mauve more dark, deeper. This one's more of like a red toned one. I like that one a lot. Um, and their glitter top coats are beautiful actually. Uh, it was Opre that recently released like their heavenly gel top coats. And I was like looking at them and I'm like, except for one of them, there was one of them that I was like, oh, that's actually cute. But the rest of them I was like, Painted Desert already released those. I already own those. Why would I buy that from you? There's one that the Painted Desert doesn't have and it's a greenish shift one. So my next order from Opre, I might actually order those. But Painted Desert actually sells five different glitter top coats. So you have these four that they released, they're new. And then you have the gold glitter top coat. I love using this on customer orders. It literally elevates a, um, a solid set. Like if you wanna change 
the way your solid set looks. You want to give it a little oomph. You want to add some glitter, some sparkle. Definitely get their glitter top coats. Either one, any of them work. The gold glitter is my favorite. I also like their 110. It's a cactus color base. So it's a glittery base. It's really, really beautiful. It's semi sheer. So it's buildable. In like two or three coats, you can get a pretty good opacity. But I like using it as an overlay on customers' orders. I did a gingerbread set recently using that. Number 12 is really pretty. That's a really pretty um, peachy color. Yeah, there's tons of stuff here. I could talk your head off all day about the Clean the Desert products that I love using because there's just a good amount. Um, but the main takeaway for me was their nail art brushes, incredible. I literally paid $30 for four. Buy two, get two free. It was such a great deal. I got the three liners and the ombre brush. The ombre brush is literally one of my favorite brushes. So incredible. Um, I use it a lot in my customers and myself and my set. I have talked your head off. I'm running out of breath. I need to go drink some water. Um, I have coffee right there. That's not going to do. So if you do like these haul unboxing videos, let me know and I will start creating more. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.